The Battle of Visby, fought in 1361 between the Kingdom of Denmark and the city of Visby on Gotland, the island of Gotland. And this is kind of a, this is a historical battle. It is a, a battle between obviously those two uh, sides. It's kind of over like the control of Visby itself, like the Swedes and the Danish were both fighting for it. And uh, yeah, Denmark and along with a load of German mercenaries represented by the Holy Roman Empire attack uh, Gotland to take Visby for themselves and to uh, basically put their overlordship over the island. Um, I, Gotland is in like the middle of like the Baltic Sea, so it's kind of like a advantageous, like strategic advantageous spot to have for uh, like invasion of later or maybe for control of trade through the Baltic. So it's certainly a good area to take. So anyway, I am Pope John Paul and we're here with another 1212 historical battle. If you'd like to see more of these historical uh, scenarios then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment if you've got any suggestions for historical battles or are just enjoying the content at the moment. Um, as you can see here we have, it looks like the German mercenaries are being sent up first and uh, yeah because well mercenary lives don't matter if you don't have to pay mercenaries if they're all, they're all dead. So we've got some uh, dismounted Imperial Ritter, we've got Sergeant Spearman and we have Halverdeers and some Sergeants and uh, in the forest we do have a lot of Danish nobles and Danish Ridder over here ready to sweep around. The, um, Gotland basically was made up of just like a load of uh, citizens and peasants. So as you can see here they have some pretty terrible units with like back, like no shields really or like just round shields and barely any armor. So they're just going to need mass numbers to give themselves a chance. They've got some Gotland archers back here. The best unit is probably, um, if I can find them, are these uh, Gotland. Uh, I don't know where they are actually. They're Gotland like merchant, uh, s like swords. I'll find them at some point. I can't see. I can't see them at the moment anyway. But it looks like we're gonna have the first clash of infantry in a moment. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the cavalry because look at it. It's coming around. Here we go. I mean, this has got to be it. This is going to be the charge. The cavalry's charging in. I mean, like, dribs and drabs came in there. They kind of, like... I mean, but they destroyed this flank here. Oh, and then they're going after the archers. That's not a bad idea. Not, like, wipe out their range ability. I mean, that's not as a cool charge because all the archers are all spread out. But, like, charging into infantry is glorious. And you can see they're already breaking some axe bond here. Um, they've got some peasant militia also wavering already and they're just like being attacked. There they are, Gotland Merchant Footmen are probably their best unit that they have uh, like a lot of. I mean, these Sergeant Spears are probably going to have a hard time breaking through all of this. This is a thick line of troops and it looks like the Halberdiers are already going to get sent in. But I mean, Spears, and, Spears certainly don't do like a lot of killing. You want swords, for instance. Yes, this was sent in to me by a member of the Discord. So if you'd like to join the Discord and send in your own battles or join uh, battles uh, on the Discord, then please do join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. And we are always happy to have new members. So to join the ranks of the Legion. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this is looks, looks like the uh, cavalry is going to mop up the uh, archers back and then they're just going to surround. They're not even going to attack the rear. I mean, it would make a very quick battle. If they just charge into the race. Maybe they're just going to allow... They're going to toy with the uh, the peasants of Gotland. And they're just going to make them... Uh, force them to... Just uh, look over their shoulder every couple of seconds. A fear of the cavalry arriving. But yeah, apparently the... Um, like, the tribute given... By uh, the city of Visby... To the Danish king... When they surrendered. After they, they lost this battle in history. Um, but yeah, after this... Uh, to avoid being sacked, they gave like a huge amount of tribute, and it's apparently a very famous uh, scene. It's a very famous painting um, of the uh, like the tribute of uh, Visby. I've forgotten what it's called. The ransom of Tris uh, Visby, I think it's called. And uh, I mean, the the Danish still sack quite a few churches and monasteries because that's always who loses out. The church always loses out uh, when a sack happens. They have the most to lose. They're usually the richest. 
So he loves how we've got archers in combat here. I mean, that's not a bad idea, I guess, because the, the archers either die out here or they die in the front lines actually contributing to the fight. And looks like we can have these uh, merchant footmen here. Some of the elite stuff guarding the rear. These guys do look very nice, though. I love that this is the Gotland uh, arms here, like sigil. It looks awesome. Look at the goat and... Uh, I guess Gotland means goat, so it's like Goatland, I guess. I don't know. I could, that could be entirely wrong. I do apologize if I've butchered that, but I presume that might be sort of the, uh, the meaning for it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like we, the actual Danish royal army is coming forward now. We have, like, Hus Spear Huskarls. We have Huskarls. I think it's just a load of uh, Huskarls, to be honest. And then we've got some crossbows in there. Out there, we've got uh, Castle Guards back here. And we've got the King's Bodyguard. And we've got the uh, German Mercenary General here as well. But, I mean, yeah, the Castle Guards, look at them. They look awesome. They're also a Halberdier unit. But, I mean, they're called Castle Guards. So, if they're here, who's guarding the King's Castle? That's the real question. And there we go. We've got a flank going on around here. We've got some sergeants. They're going to attack. And these Gotland uh, merchant footmen are now going into combat. They should try and counterflank the uh, sergeants here. Break them a lot quicker. Quicker at breaking them. And it's just a, a good old grind. I mean, they have the advantage to the Danish forces, the Danish and German forces, because they have halberdiers. So they can just poke people at range and impale them on their long, pointy pike or halberd. Just stab away, men. Stab away. And just stay out of range. I mean, and then when this happens, like, people, like, some random guy goes, yeah, I'll just use my halberd as an axe. What a mad lad. But yeah, most of these peasants are just like one one or two hits and they'll be like getting impaled. And look at that, the cavalry's coming forward. It's just going to rout this uh, peasant militia, make sure it doesn't come back. Looks like the Huskars are already getting sent up at this point to uh, come and deal with... Um, well, looks like they're coming to come and take over from uh, this these spears and the halberds. Now's a good time to uh, counter charge the halberds, which it looks like the uh, they are doing. They are going to try and counter charge and they're going to get a few kills off. Look at that. Poor guy just got impaled and killed by a, a spear. Yeah, quite a few halberds died because of that. And now they're attacking the Huskals, which are fresh troops, shield wall. I mean, they look glorious in their shield wall. And look at them. The last few are just like retreating back to their own lines. Like, their officers tell them to come back they're too eager like oh you come back here or it's the uh, the whip for you I don't know how do you punish someone in the medieval army I guess you just chop the head off probably it's not like the Romans where you actually like beat people probably just killed them or didn't pay them probably just deducted their pay or whatever for a day but I think there's the charge yet yeah. looks like the Huskar is going on over here I just flank around now just flank around with everything. I mean, the, obviously the cavalry could just go in. Looks like the general's now being sent in. He's obviously a king's bodyguard because there's no other unit. Uh, obviously, to represent like Gotland's general, whatever he'd be. I don't know, maybe be like the town mayor or lord or whatever. So he might be pretty armored anyway. But he's in there somewhere. I can't actually see where the general would be. Oh, that might be him. That might be him with his visor up in his crown. There he is. The leader of the Gotland resistance. Or Visby resistance. Whichever one. They're pretty interchangeable. Visby's on Gotland. Simple as. But yeah, they should really just flank around. I know they have threats of like the cavalry, but it just look, looks like this cavalry's now not being used. Um, probably like for the scenario, ben the benefit of the scenario. But uh, yeah, these spear bondier here are just breaking to the husk They're just getting outclassed. Looks like Sergeant Spearman getting sent in. They're sending everything back in now, I think. Oh, it's glorious to see like units when they charge in and they like charge through the uh, like the initial combats into like I don't know, deep into enemy lines. It looks awesome. 
And there you go, you can see that. There they are. I think that's the uh, Imperial Rissa getting sent in. Yeah. I don't know why they don't just send them around the flank. I mean, they've got, like, sergeants flanking. They might want to flank with a bit more. And they're sending in castle guards. I mean, they send in the Holy Roman Emperor. Also, like, the German mercenary leader. He's dismounted. He's gone in. And it looks like they're sending their archers back that way. Oh, yeah, there's quite a big chain route. Well, not a chain route, but um, certainly a lot of the spears breaking the spear bond. And here we go. The cavalry's coming. Oh, God. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, that's nasty. That's literally just destroyed the entire, like, like all those men that were stood there, they just destroyed all of them. There's literally, the cavalry went all the way through to their own lines. They knocked everything down. And look at that, a huge chain route. Everything's wavering. All they needed was the cavalry to come in and do that. Seal the, uh, the trap on them. And look at that, that is a disgusting chain route. And there's no way, I mean... That's like a general dying sort of chain route. But the general's just fine. He's lost only one unit. That was disgusting. No wonder the tide of battles turned against you. All your men just broke. And I mean, like, now these, like, Gotland merchant footmen and the general here are probably just like, What happened? Where's our front line? And all they can see is just, uh, Danish and German troops. Good God. The Swedes need to come back and aid Gotland. Because the Swedes sort of hold Gotland at this point. Only sort of. It's like semi-independent is Gotland. It, pro it just like pays tribute to uh, Sweden. But Sweden needs to be here. With troops. To defend Gotland. And their rights. And their, and their lives. And their women and children. Because the Danish cavalry is here. And it's causing a lot of damage. But yeah, I mean, these sergeants have just held up. I mean, they're actually losing. They were losing at one point. I don't think they are now. I mean, it's now got some dismounted Imperial Ritter going in. I mean, it's not going to be long. Look at this. Oh, my God. The absolute havoc going on in there. And they're like, yeah, they're being forced to turn around. I mean, that's going to be the... Uh, that's the footman gone. Merchant footman. And now it's just the general... He's in here in a huge mess somewhere. You can sort of see some of the bodyguard there where I'm marking my... Uh, actually, yeah, I think there's the king. There, oh, no, that's the... Uh, yeah, I think that is... Uh, maybe. Yeah, that is the Danish uh, king or, like, the uh, got the leader of Gotland. He's there, dismounted. We'll follow him. You better not die. No, don't break. Oh, he broke. Oh, dear. Decisive defeat. It was indeed. In history, um, the Gotland forces lose between 1,800 and 2,000 men to the Danish losses, Danish and German losses of 300. And that is actually kind of where it was again. That's pretty impressive. Wow, that is actually really impressive. 1,800 men lost there for the uh, Gotland forces and, they, uh, and the Germans and the uh, Danish lost about 300. Uh, most of them being the mercenaries, which I guess is less mercenaries to pay. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have a look at some of the results. I mean, here you can obviously look like Gotland got, like, no no impressive kills. Um, played by the drunk Norwegian who sent this in, so thank you very much. Um, it's like Spear Bondir here getting 59 kills. Thanks, the best unit out of anyone in the army. His uh, Gotland foot, uh, uh, like, merchant footman getting 31 and 34, and his uh, Gotland bowman getting 25 kills, and his general getting 15. Mythic Keat, who was playing as the uh, the Royal Danish Army, getting uh, 28 kills with his General's Bodyguard. His uh, Spear Huskar is getting 39 kills. His uh, Castle Guard is getting numb because they never got there in time. His uh, Huskar is getting 39 kills. Uh, his Crossbow has actually never participated, which is kind of a bizarre. I thought he might have shot like into the back or I don't know. Uh, his Danish Noble is getting 435 kills. Jeez. Um, and then, I mean... the. There's Danish Ritter getting 187, 168, and 328. So, I mean, they all did really well, and it's no surprise. They were, well, the only cavalry on the battlefield, so they were going to be kings of the battlefield, really. Then Aiden, who was playing as the German mercenaries, getting 300, uh, not 300, uh, 32 kills with his uh, uh, 
bodyguard, uh, 109 kills with his uh, Imperial Ritter. Um, his sergeant's getting 59 kills, I think the best one. His halberdier's getting 52 kills, which is okay. And his uh, sergeant's getting 69 kills, so that's not too bad either. But anyway, that is the Battle of Visby. It went as it did in history. The Danish are now going to conquer Gotland for themselves, and the Swedes will have to return to retaliate. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment if you've got any scenarios that would like me to try and recreate, or, uh, or someone else recreate, and um, or just if you enjoyed the battle, let me know in the comments. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.